She's filming a TikTok. Sometimes I still can't believe this is where I get to do my morning walk. Can you hot girl subway to the Planned Parenthood? I'm supposed to do this! Yeah, that's pretty good. She's gonna need to wash her face after that. <laughs> on a hot girl walk it's 8 a.m and i can't really like sleep in late because i'm still a little so we're gonna take advantage of the hudson river for the vibes here's my little hot girl fit courtesy of aloe yoga my favorite part are the socks sometimes i still can't believe this is where i get to do my morning walks i got an ice matcha it was eight dollars so that's how you know i'm back in new york but at least they know how to make matcha here okay i'm back from my hot girl walk now it's time to hot girl subway to planned parenthood <laughs> When you hot girl subway to the Planned Parenthood. Plant. The thing with Planned Parenthood is you can just do walk-ins if you're just getting a regular schmegler SCI check. So that's what we will be doing. This video is either going to be a really happy ending or it's just going to go downhill from here. I walk in and they're like, come on Monday. There's too many people here. Since I'm already downtown, I guess I'll just go get my nails done right now. It wasn't really supposed to be a pamper day. It was supposed to be girl boss. This is the sexiest bike I've ever seen. White leather seat with pink stitching. Same with the handles. Like this bike is literally, if I was a bike, this is what I would look like. Probably a little shorter. I also realized it comes with this little box that has the white fluffy seat that I was talking to you guys about. I don't wanna say I'm sorry, but I don't have much to say. Even though it's cute, my booty is probably gonna be sweating in this. So I'm just gonna, keep it like this for now. I did like a hair mask. I'm kind of loving these waves. This is my natural hair. I was supposed to go blonde this summer and then like flights and timing didn't work out because I get my hair done in Istanbul when I'm back in Turkey. Honestly, it might have been for the better because my hair has never been this healthy. Like it's crazy the progress I'm making because like I remember last year I was vlogging and I was talking about how my hair is falling out and it's getting really thin and I was just really like unhappy and now look at me like this is officially like all my own hair color. Like a lot of you guys will be like, oh my God, you dyed your hair darker. Like your dark hair looks so good. And I'm like, y'all, this is my actual hair color. Like for the past five years, I've just been getting highlights every summer or like balayages. So it kind of looks natural. And I think a lot of you just started thinking like my hair is naturally lighter, but it ain't. This is what it usually looks like. Okay, well, it came with another box. Holy mother. It looks like a bike, but it's low-key giving me scooter energy. The little pink keys, are you fucking kidding me right now? Wow. But you see what I mean? Like, you ever had a bike with keys? The crazy thing is, when I sit on this bike, even when the seat is at its lowest, my feet don't touch the ground at all. See, like, it's really tall. Like, I don't really know how I'm supposed to do this! This battery is like heavier than a 15 inch MacBook Pro with like the fat chip in it. Why is it like an iPad? It's literally an iPad. <laughs> oh, why don't you just say so? Look at that. Look, that's awesome, mate. That's some good stuff. I'm actually gonna finally move this bike to the bike room in our building because my sister was like, so when is your bike no longer gonna be in the middle of our living room? And I was like, you don't like it? <laughs> I thought it looked pretty cute. Guys, I'm reading the label and this bike has cruise control. Like I told you, it's not It's not a bike. It's, it's a dead ass a car. It's halfway to being a car. I'm putting my foot here because it has my address on it, but I got my bedside table finally. That's my current bedside table it's this towel warmer box if you're a true viewer just kidding you might remember me from one of my other moving vlogs i said i could have sworn i ordered a bedside table but i can't find a confirmation email or anything and it's been months and i still don't have a bedside table so i'm pretty sure i dreamed that so i ended up ordering it i, I was gonna say again but i guess it never really happened the first time and i'm gonna build it really quick what color is that like brown <laughs> She goes, 
brown. Get you a girl that gets STD checked at 11, gets her nails done at 12, and then builds furniture at 3 p.m., you guys. Yes! I feel like all I do on my channel is build furniture. You know that is just being so loud. I'm in the middle of the video. Plot twist. Do I even know what I ordered? I don't because apparently, that's you guys right now. Apparently it's a mirror. I thought it was just glass. I don't know, like I like it and like I have a, a bracelet that also like matches it really well. Like I see the vibe you're trying to go for, like vintage, ancient. I just don't know how it matches with this dress. Like the dress is giving me like Hamptons, Audrey Hepburn. So why can't it be Audrey Hepburn goes to Egypt? <laughs> Why? That's the look. That's what I'm saying. Like, what could I wear instead of- Ah, oh, this calls for a fashion emergency. Okay, you guys. I was not completely wrong. Here she is in all her glory. I think it's gonna look really good in my bedroom, so. Let's take it there. It's out with the old. Okay. I guess it's cute. It's not the best thing I ever saw in my whole life, but I think like once I get like big pillows and make my bed look a little bit more extravagant, that won't look as overpowering over the bed. And I only could get it on one side because that side is all canceled out. This is just what happens when you move from an LA apartment to New York. Okay, I'm gonna decorate it now. Ah! Okay, no one look at that lamp either, okay? I don't, it's the only source of light in my bedroom right now and I don't know what to do with it. It's really ugly. Don't look at her! She is shy. I've been wanting to put this candle on my bedside table literally since the day we moved in. I like literally have refused to burn it because it's by Boy Smells, the candle company. It literally smells so good. Like it smells like a boy, but like a good one. <laughs> Okay, now that I look at it, like this bedside table is huge. Like I can put so many things here. I could probably get like cute little coffee table books to put over here. I'm very happy. I wish it was like the same gold color as like my infamous knobs that you guys know about, but whatever. I guess you can't just like win everything in life. So yeah, don't look at the lamp. Okay guys, so Nil and I just went to an art gallery called CDM. We just went there to go look at some of the pieces that they had, like the art on the walls. They had like Takashi Murakami, like that was kind of like the vibe, like hype beast energy. They actually gave us a few pieces and they're really, really cool. They gave me two and then they gave Nil two. I also have some like vintage prints that I found them in antique stores when I was at a flea market in Paris. I'm gonna see if maybe we can like put all the pieces together and into some kind of like gallery because like this wall right here like above our couch is very empty this little doll nil actually also got from the same gallery which is really cool like that's kind of like the vibe i also have this little sculpture it's a life is beautiful piece by mr brainwash joe got that for me a really long time ago and it actually broke like down the middle but i was able to like perfectly glue it back together so you can't even tell don't mind the fact that my bike is still there we're trying to figure it out this is one of the pieces I got. It's this dinosaur by this artist called Hugh Bao. One out of 99 pieces. It's all kind of like valuable stuff. Comes with this like little certificate of authentication. This was like on the wall. They were like, pick one. And I obviously was like, can I have the dinosaur one? Cute. And then this little piece, it's kind of like doodles of like a map almost, it looks like. And it's by this artist called Mini in Peace. It has this like wooden black frame around it. I like that they're both like modern pieces. No got this piece, which I also think is really cool. It's this girl. Oh my god. It's this girl like smoking a cig. We can kind of make these pieces go together and like have the same vibe of the gallery. No also got a piece by Mini Peace. Piece by Mini Peace. Her map is like a doodle of like a ski resort mountain situation. Oh yeah. It kinda looks like Switzerland. Ski. This is the one that I brought from Paris. We've got this print that says New York and then it has all the like icons. This is like a really old map of London and even just looking at it makes me happy. Like even when I look at it, I'm like, ah, like that's where I used to live. Hi Holborn. Hello, so today we have some errands to run. Do you like these glasses? I kind of like them. We're going to Ulta right now because Nil needs to film a brand deal with Good Molecules and I'm obviously the professional videographer in this case. And then also we're gonna go to TJ Max because I need to buy new pillows because my pillows suck. Like it looks like I just got a bunch of like con rounds 
and stuff them in a sack. So we're gonna have to do something a little bit about that. She's filming a TikTok for Good Molecules and Ulta. The people working there thought we were literally crazy people that were lying to them about working with Ulta. They were like, can we see the email? And also like Nil was smart about it and she brought the product that she needs to promote just in case they were sold out. Because they're always sold out because that's just how good they are. Okay, Nil, this is not your ad. So then we were like taking a product out of her bag and it looked so sus, like we were stealing. So we had to let them know. We were like, uh, we just want to make sure you guys know, like we're not stealing this. I love when you're trying to promote a brand and they think you're taking away from it. Why is there no air conditioning in this motherfucking store? Pilo, pilo. Too firm. That is so long. We do not have a pillowcase that's that size. Yeah, that's pretty good. She's gonna need to wash her face after that because God knows how many fools put their head on that pillow. There was a pillow over there that was so good, but it was $130. That is a wonderful pillow. It's $135. The bag, it's the card. <laughs> uh, I gotta go.